All right, so another question that is very common in the day trading space, especially for beginners, is how long is it going to take for me to get profitable? How long is it going to take? And uh, the short answer is, and the right answer is, there's no way to really tell. Everybody's journey is different. Uh, everyone's results are different. But um, on an average, on an average, I'd say it takes about two to three about two to three, maybe four, somewhere in that window between two and four years to start making money trading stocks. Um, there are some outliers. There's some outliers. Uh, some people pick it up really, really quick uh, within the first few months, and they're just, you know, gifted. I guess. I guess they're just gifted, or they just didn't have any issues with, you know, understanding price action. Uh, they just kind of came naturally. And there's also some people who takes a little bit longer, especially uh, with different types of strategies. It's going to take a little bit longer to learn. I know uh, it seems to me that, um, you know, with these um, large cap strategies or some of these, you know, futures, Forex sort of strategies, you know, they can take, I've seen people take six, seven or eight years till they get it. And once they start, you know, dialing in though, after like six, seven or eight years, they're, they're absolutely killing it. Um, but for small caps, for small caps, um, in my, you know, in my, uh, experience and seeing other traders in the small cap space, it's going to be about, I'd say about three years, uh, give or take until you start to really start to understand and get it. And that's quite of a long time. And a lot of people don't have the fight to stay in the, to stay in the game for three years. Imagine going three years and never making money, never, never making money. I remember so many times I would spend hours and hours, 10 hours a day, 12 hours a day studying, studying, studying for the first couple of years and I was not making money. So I was essentially working and I was not getting paid. How do you guys feel about working and not getting paid? Most people are not able to do it and that's why most people will never make it because they're used to going to work and making money guaranteed and this, this is not guaranteed. Even when you're already profitable, even some days you're not going to make money. You're going to work and you're not going to make money. But obviously after you're profitable, over the long term, you know, it's all kind of evens out. But in the beginning, the first few years, the first three or four years, you know, you're going to be spending like thousands of hours, thousands, thousands upon thousands of hours, and you're going to lose money at the end of that. Most people cannot stomach that, and that's why they, you know, give up. That's why they give up, and this does not become a reality, which is sad. But uh, most people, for anything, not even just trading, can't even stick with something uh, long enough to be successful, and that's why a lot of people end up, you know, just slaving away at a job that they don't like just to pay the bills. Um, but yeah, even anything, I would say not even just trading alone, but, you know, even becoming an athlete or a musician or this or that, um, a real estate mogul or, you know, owning a business, you know, just getting any of that, you know, to be at a profitable, um, at a profitable rate or at a space, at a, a place where it's profitable, you know, actually making money, you know, that's going to take three, four or five years or even more. So, you know, just for anything, you got to put in that amount of time. Uh, to be successful anyways. I don't think it's just uh, geared to only trading. I think it's just business in general or being successful in general in any sport or uh, music. You know, how long does it take to learn the guitar? You know, to be you know intermediate guitar player, you know, maybe three or four years of every day, of everyday lessons, you know, five, five days a week, six days a week of lessons or and then practicing on your days off. So, and, and same thing with like sports, like you know, most, you know, most, most elites or even, you know, college sports players, high school sports players who take it seriously, you know, they're not just, they're not just practicing during the, the game season. They're practicing during the off season and then preparing for the next season. So they're never stopped practicing. And it may take three or four years till you can really start nailing some threes, you know, or throwing some Hail Mary passes into the end zone. Uh, it just doesn't happen overnight. Uh, it's the same thing with trading. It's, it's, it's all the same. It's all the same. Um, but you have to be that type of person who's able to stick through it when the times are tough. In the beginning, you're going to be tested a lot. You're going to be tested a lot. Uh, but in my experience and what I've seen with the other traders, you know, give or take um, about three years, at least with the sort of strategy that I'm trading, 
Um, there is a problem though with uh, this strategy being, you know, scalable. The scalability of this of the strategy, you know, you can't just go to infinite share size. There is a sort of cap where you know the liquidity can't uh, sustain the increase in share size. Um, versus, you know, if you're tr trading like forex or futures or something that has a lot more liquidity. Um, or even the SPY or large caps, you know, you can scale that up even more. So, um, you know, there's there's pros and cons of different strategies. But so what I'm finding, yeah, is about three years um, to, you know, start turning a profit. And, you know, it took me, I'd say in 2015, like I blew up an account. I blew up an account in 2015, then I quit. Then I came back at 2020, blew up another account. Uh, but these are small accounts. These are like... You know, I think my first account was like maybe a thousand bucks, thousand bucks, and then my second account was twenty five hundred. So in total, about thirty five hundred to four thousand uh, that I blew up, uh, that I lost, which is not a lot. You know, um, the best thing in the beginning is just to not risk too much money because you're going to lose. You're going to lose without a doubt. Um, so you don't want to be. Your tuition could either be you know a few thousand dollars or tens of thousands. Or even hundreds of thousands so you definitely want to you know keep the tuition cheap because you don't need to spend you know a hundred thousand or fifty thousand uh, in tuition uh, just to become profitable you know you can be profitable with a thousand dollar tuition you know blowing up one account or ruining one account or losing a thousand you know you don't need to um, you know lose so much till you till, till you become profitable um, it's not really, a, and it's also not really a rite of passage to, you know, blowing up an account as well. So don't feel like you need to blow up an account as well. But so I started in 2015, which is about six, you know, six months. And, um, you know, maybe about six months I traded until I blew up my account. Um, and then in 2020, this account I started in October, but I started an account, you know, say like I think March, you know, right at the beginning of COVID, February, March. And so six months to another account. So that's one year of progress, um, right? One, yeah, about one year. And then, so kind of going sideways here. And I didn't really, you know, I made some money, almost a thousand and gave it all back down in this area. And so I wouldn't, I'd say I'd start making money, let's say around September, I guess when I start making money is when I make my account back. So when I make my account back, oh, it's what, 3,500. So now here I'm back to flat. So April 19th of 2022. So eight, April 19th, so it's about two years from 2020 to 2022, plus another six months in 2015. So just shy of three years till I started to turn profit. So this is when I got back into the green um, in April of 2022. So that's crazy. That's crazy to think about. About three years of, of, of grinding. Three years of grinding. Hours and hours and hours. Um, are you going to be the type of person who's going to be able to go through that and come out the other end? You know, you, get, you go through some dark times for sure. Is it... You're gonna be asking questions. Is this ever gonna work out? Am I doing anything? Am I doing this right? Is you know? Am I just you know chasing a mirage? You know, are these people who are making money even legit? Are they even making money? Is it possible for me to do this? Am I good enough for this? Am I you know capable of doing this? You know, all those questions, all those doubts are going to you know bring like try to bring you down. They're gonna to try to make you quit. Um, are you gonna be strong enough to? You know, fight through that, fight through that, and continue going. And that's the that's the question that everyone faces. Those are the questions that everyone faces. Those are the the doubts that everyone faces in the beginning. And I'd say most people cave. Most people end up caving and um, submitting to their insecurities and their doubts for themselves, and they never end up making it. So, are you someone who's going to be able to push through? That's the question. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that thumbs up button for me. Hit that subscribe on the way out if you're new. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.